The Workspaces tab gives you an overview over all workspaces. So not only the shared workspaces, all workspaces, even if they're not shared with anybody. Workspaces are also called project. That's why you see a lot of projects here. Uh, and you can update this list by simply going to Adobe Component Manager Workspaces and then clicking on Update Workspace List. And that's what we're going to do as the first step. And make sure you do that before you do anything with workspaces here, because of course you always want to work with the latest state. You can follow the update progress here in the status bar. And once it's done, it will tell you workspace list fully updated. Now it's pulling the project in from Adobe Analytics. It's writing to the sheet and it's updated. Let's look at a couple of the most important columns with the owner readable and owner email as well as uh, shares are not showing any values here, or this one is showing PII disabled, this one is showing NANA. What does that mean? Um, it means you have personal data deactivated. So you can go to the config tab, uncheck this flag, and then do another workspace list update again. And then you'll see names and email addresses of owners here. But of course, you need to be authorized for that. And I'm not going to show this due to privacy reasons in a demo. Then things like ID, name, description, I think are pretty obvious. Um, important, the report suite ID um, is not the report suite ID of the workspace panels. So maybe you remember that a workspace has multiple panels and each panel can be assigned to, to a report suite. Um, so this report suite ID is basically just saying in which report suite was this workspace initially created. Um, company template means this is a workspace template. You find this usually here under custom templates. The type is either a project or a mobile scorecard. The tags will show you if you use them, which doesn't happen here at this demo account, the tags that are assigned to a particular workspace. Um, the shares will also only show if you have PII enabled. Um, approved tells you whether the workspace is in an approved state or not. Modified means when was it last modified, created when was it created, and again, views in the last 90 days, and actively scheduled email jobs. Now there's this delete column, which has another color and the delete column works like this. You just mark workspaces that you want to delete with X. And then you go to Adobe Component Manager, Workspace, Delete Workspaces, and then it deletes all the workspaces marked with an X. So now that we've updated the list, we have to do two things. First, we have to make sure that all the rows are part of the um, filtered range. And if you scroll down here, just click Control and down in the ID column, you see that we have 102. We have 102 rows but the filter range stops at 52. This is because we just updated this list and in the meantime, 50 new workspaces were created. Um, so what we have to do is we have to click in row four to mark all the columns. Then we turn off the filter and turn it on again. And now we see that all the rows we need are marked. The last row has this green line under it and then that way you know you're not gonna miss anything with your filters. So now we wanna find the unused workspaces. Unused could mean that nobody views them. So we'll just select workspaces with zero views in the last 90 days. Clear it, select zero, okay. Could also mean there are no actively scheduled emails for these workspaces. So we'll go into this column and select zero and click okay again. Um, company template doesn't get views. So we might want to make sure that this is not a template. So we make sure it's false and not true here. So we also want to filter for workspaces that haven't been modified uh, for a while now. So we click on the modified filter. And now we use filter by condition and select um, date is before and then exact date. And now we have to type the date in in the following syntax, 2021, and I'm going to use 30th of May, 2021, then click OK. And now you see that everything that's in there has been modified before the 
30th of May of 2021. So now we want to share this um, filtered list with our users and make sure that they have some time to object the envisioned deletions for that. Um, the easiest way to do this is probably to copy this workspace tab to a new uh, spreadsheet. That way you can keep working with this sheet, you can update the workspaces list, and your coworkers can use the other sheet to mark what they might still need. Now there are multiple ways of doing this, but I usually just click into the filtered range somewhere anywhere inside the filtered range, then press Control A to filter everything, um, then Control C to copy everything, then I open a new tab, go for example here into row four, and I press Control V, or whatever the shortcut for paste is in your country, and I paste everything in, and you see layout is a bit different, but more or less it's still usable, and you see we have the same filters applied, so it, it copied only the filtered range and not everything else. And now, and I did this in the meantime, you'll just add another column to the left that says, for example, X means I still need it. Then you'll write some text above it that people should mark all workspaces they still need with an X in column A and that everything else will be deleted otherwise until August 31st, they have time to do that. Then um, maybe call this sheet workspace deletion candidates and share it with your coworkers or with everybody. Um, and send emails to your coworkers so that they have the chance to mark their stuff with X's. So let's assume 31st of August has passed. Your users have had the chance to mark what they don't need anymore with an X. Um, now we can again do the same game again. We create another filter on top of this list. We filter out everything that's not an X. So we filter out the blanks. And now since we know that these are all the workspaces that we can delete, you can just mark them all with X in the delete column. Just scroll down and paste X everywhere. And now again, I can mark this. I'll mark all the columns that we also had in the original workspace sheet, but not the first one. So column A is not marked. I copied to the clipboard. I go back to my workspaces sheet. I delete everything apart from the first two columns because those just contain um, formulas with control and the arrow keys you're pretty good so now it's empty now i paste the list from the other sheet and i probably want to do this with paste values only and now there's one row too much the Add a row, I'll just delete that, absolutely no problem. Now I have a row, uh, I have a list of only workspace IDs that I want to delete, and I can proceed with deletion. So I click on Adobe Component Manager again, workspace, and now delete workspaces. And don't worry that this list is now shortened. The only thing that is needed for deletion is actually the ID column and the delete column. You could leave the whole rest blank, but of course it's a bit more um, clear. It's a bit clearer what is actually getting deleted when you copy more than that. So it says this will delete the workspaces marked with X in the workspaces tabs delete column. So we have this delete column, it's with X, it's marked with X. I click OK, and then we can watch it getting deleted. Again, we'll have the status bar that shows us the progress. And once it's done, it updates the list and writes the updated workspace list into the sheet. And we can now check if the workspaces that we wanted to delete were actually deleted by going back to our deletion sheet. And let's, for example, take this ID and search for it here. We don't find it, zero matches, that means it was effectively deleted. And um, we can also check the update log. Here we see that we sent deletions on August 26th, that's just right now. And those were the workspaces we wanted to delete. 
And here we have a change log that we can download. And it's an Excel file that tells us if the deletion actually worked. So this is important to um, distinguish. This update log sheet, this list here just tells us what was sent to Adobe Analytics. If the deletion actually happened or not, or if it, if it worked or not, um, this is what we get from the Excel log sheet here. And this is pasted into the sheet once it's done. So let's look at this Excel sheet. So we see the ID of the workspace, the deletion result, 200 means okay, it worked. Um, the last modified date, just for reference and the name of the workspace. And that's it. So all our deletions were successful. And we can now continue with the component usage tab and look at orphaned components for that. Check out the next video.